top to bottom, separated by just five games. Uh, you know what I'm doing right now? What are you doing? I, I think we take for granted, like we take for granted Mike Trout sometimes. We take for granted Max Scherzer, how good he is. 18, 20. I mean, he's burst on the scene. He is an elite. They, elite. No, they knew he was good. They didn't know he would be I didn't think good. they knew he was going here. But uh, the story offensively. Did you? Yeah, you did. I've, oh, I didn't know he was going 30 before the break. But you knew. You know me. With, he's got 20 more pounds to put on. Since the start of last year's All-Star break. Someone would say that about me. <laughs> Christian Yelich has, since the start of last year's All-Star break, 12 more homers than everyone else. Yeah. Than anyone else. But Josh, no, Josh Bell, Bell making a pre-All-Star uh, statement. Yeah, let us now. Headed. Wow. They got a three-game set right as they head to the deadline, 28th, 29th, uh, 29th for eight. Wow. Now. Now, that Chris Archer. Fun. Now. Let's go. No. I always view it like this. Now I'm in. All right. If, like, the Cubs and the Brewers or the Cubs and the Cardinals played a seven-game set, would it be lopsided? Like, the same way as if the Astros and the Rangers or the Dodgers and the Giants, right? Like, it's a different game in the Central. There's 31 games separating the AL East from top to bottom. There's six. Uh, that's, 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 that's a good point. There's yeah. 25 a lot of pair. Who's gonna, who's in gonna the, get in hot? the and AL Central. And they're leaving There's a lot to be desired. We keep, you're right. We keep waiting. Maybe Chris Archer steps up and, and, and becomes everything that they traded for. Maybe Felipe Vasquez, they don't trade each team, oh. a.k.a. the Dodgers. Imagine him with Kenley Jansen, game is set match. But Ooh. the Buccos got a they got a fighting shot right now. Right now. They got some good young players. They're hitting the baseball. Cody Dickerson's back in the lineup. I love that. Are we team. buying in? The yeah, Giants sure, gave up Reynolds in the McCutcheon deal. Yeah. They can't all be hey. Yeah, you're right. We'll get into Tatis Jr. here in a minute. Oh, oh what? what's coming up next? Yeah. Also coming up. Over the next three hours. I like that tape. Revive. I loved it. It was a good job. One of your best. Matt Chapman continues. At the same time. Oh, <laughs> you know, that could be it could be an interesting way to <laughs> Jazz manipulate up. the schedule a little bit. Um, all right, Fernando Tatis Jr. <laughs> we we saw him with the with the glove and the and the bat. He does, but this one's warranted. I'll be honest. Th this Sometimes this you one have, is a keeper. Like, crushes, and we're like. Yes. I just like the way certain guys move out out on the field and do things that I could never do. And I love it. Mm. And I love their confidence. Fair, I like and yeah. I love the sunglasses they wear. Yes. And averages 91 miles an hour across the diamond. You know what happens in January? What? Uh, he turns 21. Wow. Can you imagine? Jeez. I had that kind of. When you, no, you dominated none of at us, 21? None of us can imagine that. 21. Go to month before the deadline. I'm posing those questions to you, my friend. Good morning. The Red Sox have a void at closer. It has been well documented. Enter Nathan Avaldi, who's still on the injured list, but who has pitched out of the bullpen, remember, in the postseason a year ago. Your thoughts on him being their new closer? Perhaps it will get Avaldi back on the roster sooner, which is also another element to this. The Blue Jays, I don't know, I'm sure you're watching us, kind of giving a little love to their young stars. Bo Bichette. Is he next to debut? Looking it on our calendar, you also, JP, heard us talking about separators when it comes to the NL Central. Cardinals very much alive in the division, as well as the wild card, Marcelo Zuna injured. So what's the separator the next month to the deadline? Yeah, next couple weeks, pivotal for a lot of teams. You, my friend, are so obsessed with the trade deadline that you make them up <laughs> in your head. We have some trade <laughs> hypothetics. Head in his hands. I'm not sure what that means, either side. Is, is that a good, only, zero, good or bad? Sure. Good or bad, my friend? What do you think? Bad, good or bad? Zero. Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. So it's All a right. lot to digest, JP. It was for I was I I I this is we've, not we've a got we've got weeks to, yet. This, Dom come, come Smith back, is yeah, done. Come up. back to us, D Row, in a couple weeks. We, we got a lot of time on that roster. The one thing you think about the way that playoff roster rounds out, Miles Straw, who is the fastest guy AJ Hinch has ever managed. There is a key guy what are you there. Doing? The you well talking the over playoffs. me too? What got a gift heck? to get. JP. Sorry, sorry, Lord. It's your second. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Best. My bad. Sorry. Best. Why, why am I like you're like right there? Um, <laughs> the Astros are not the only team adding to their rotation, according to you. The really? deal. D-Row like? yesterday gave the World Series to the Yankees. <laughs> but if Madison Bumgarner and Will Smith are on the Braves, what say you? Eh, I love there it. You go. I, I think love that, it. Eh. it. That's a. That's a 
that's a pricey cost. You're Christian wearing Pos a microphone. You don't have to. <laughs> Christian Page is a starting center fielder in the big leagues and, and could be exactly that next year. Ian Anderson could be a frontline or rotation guy. Colby Allard, former number one pick. I might I might have to battle with the powers that be in okay. San Francisco. We got to got to light lighten that load for the. Right, well, you, you got you Bryce Wilson that. there too. Maybe he's a possibility. Right. So many as the like JP Morosi on the inside corner. Get out of here, by I the know, way. This is, this is weird. fun. Well, July started with a bang, and it continues with the MLB Network Showcase game tonight when the Yankees and the Mets meet in Queens. Yankees back in Gotham after sweeping both games of the London series. You can say that again. Smashing 29 runs in the process. Meanwhile, the Mets fresh off rallying in the eighth inning to best the Braves. Those Braves head home to face the Phillies in the first of three. Dallas Keuchel making his home debut at SunTrust Park. He earned a win against the the Cubs his last time out, allowing three runs in five and two thirds. And the Astros and the Rockies could send balls into orbit when they meet at Coors Field. Charlie Blackman turned 33 yesterday, happy birthday, and looks to keep the party going. Having homered in back-to-back -back games, led the majors with a 413 average and an 835 slugging percentage in a month of June. Seat for believe or make believe. What? I, I remember doing this. With the we're changing with it up. Robert doesn't like that, so we're just no, catering I, I, to, to Robert. I like it. It's just okay. I think it's funny that we whatever. Do you want to get to business? <laughs> yeah, let's get. Red to Sox will miss the postseason. We spoke with JP. <laughs> Looking at me like you're. Yeah, we're. I don't like okay. to prepare for these questions. So you don't know what I'm going to ask you? No. JP Morosi. Read a rundown earlier. I don't want to want to say they're going to miss the playoffs. I don't either. If they make it, then I can't go on the field and actually talk to them. I, I don't. I don't want to say um, that. I don't want to say it because you guys are fugazi. We kind of are. Man, it is too early for me to okay. say they're going to miss. Yeah. That's fair. Same. It is too early because the teams in front of them, Texas. I'm not sure Oakland's going to get hot, but are they Cleveland? No. Well, let's hang tight. Is it I too early this. to talk about Chris Woodward's team? Because if the season ends today, the Rangers are a wild card team. Mm -hmm. The Rangers will play in the wild card. My team word! God again! I just texted you. He might have. Alex, it's for, he's done TV before. He gets it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, but I, I, I don't. The Rangers aren't going anywhere. I you guys, this isn't just feeling. a conversation. I know. In our meeting. We're on television. Sorry. So Cleveland or Oakland jumps ahead of them? Yeah. Mm. Or the Red Sox? The Red okay. Sox. The Red Sox. Oh, that's terrible. So I can't over you guys? I, I'm, I'm, I don't like this segment. Remember April 1st when you said who's going to win NL MVP? Christian Yellen. Okay, so what do you say July 2nd about DJ LeMahieu? DJ LeMahieu will win AL MVP, batting 345. AL MVP. <laughs> He's the AL MVP right now. Yes. He, he really is. He Absolutely. really is. <sighs> Value. Will he win it? Yes, he will win it. He's going to win it. First nail and average hit, second in RBI. And he's going to be the first I guy. He's going to be the first MVP. Yes, he will. You guys, please oh help me. Oh, God. I don't like this segment at all. Whoa. Tweet us your thoughts. Hashtag MLB Central. Mainly about how indecisive my co-hosts are. Deadline approaching. Arizona on the bubble. They're two games back. The wild card in the National League right now. Zach Greinke, who has been pretty vocal, right? We've heard reports that he doesn't want to go anywhere. Doesn't Zach Greinke no will be a diamond back. He doesn't because it's a hassle. Yeah. Zach Greinke will be a diamond back I think on that's... August 1st. So what if they win their next 10 games? You change your mind. He's going to remain a diamond back, Lauren. So, August 1st. Do you want to answer? No, no, let's just <laughs> keep moving on. Keep, keep moving on. Okay. This is. Uh, remember in April when we said that the NL East was going to be a four-team race? Uh huh. Yeah. Two teams from the NL East will reach. I say no. The postseason. Oh my God. I'm just... I mean, they're two. They don't have to. <laughs> we go to break. This has been a. I don't like being in the middle. Yeah. I don't like being in the middle. Like in the seating? No. The Mets. Like where? Where are we? So we're doing where this segment are tomorrow. We? We're doing this segment tomorrow. Yeah, but not every team is the you Dodgers, the Astros. How'd the they get there? They stunk. How'd, How'd they, they get, get there? How'd you got to make there? a decision. You got to build the foundation up. Yeah, but the Dodgers didn't and the Yankees didn't. They're not rebuilding constantly. The Astros are different. The Astros are a different situation. What, when there that? There was that youth core, yeah. yeah. And they built. 
and the Yankees knew who they were, and they weren't going to win it. I mean, they made decisions accordingly. What are the Mets going to do? I don't like it when you guys fight. I'm just, I mean. All right, we're going to take a break.